Yo, what's good? Everyday superpower. We talk game, body language, relationships, human communication, everything in between. I'm going to reference dating apps on this one, but this correlates with dating and relationships and attraction and the, you know, communication between man and woman as a whole, yeah? I've, I've, I've covered it, well, I cover it when I can do, right? Uh, but I like to re-emphasize it. You'll find that there's only so many principles you need to abide by and implement and identify before you're sort of rephrasing or reapplying the same ideologies in different contexts. So if you look at uh, love songs, right? The love song is timeless, but the love song is timeless and it's been so done so many times before, but people continue writing great love songs and it still continues to be the leading form of song purely as people are finding different perspectives to approach it and being able to put it forward in a different way and put it in different contexts and environments. That's how we're speaking of these principles of how to deal with women and how to act appropriately and in accordance to our biology and our perfect balance of masculine and feminine so with that being said uh, the one thing you will see on regular on dating apps um hinge i am referencing um that th there's a prompt um so so people can like put questions in their bios and stuff and you can react to it and communicate with it click onto it and give an answer one of them is just like um a perfect date for me is and then they can fill the gap and you will see this reoccurring more so than the women actually putting a perfect date in. It'll be a perfect date for me is you choosing the time, location and blah de blah So she's giving you full reign of dictating what that perfect date is. And men will just be like, oh, women are so undecisive. Oh, women can't make any decisions, blah, 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 blah. Just roll with it. I mean, initially it might be a bit of a nuisance, but when you start to unveil the reasons why, the biological purpose as to why that is and how you need to showcase the fact you are a leader, being a man, it starts to make complete sense, right? Oh, she never chooses where we go to eat. Yeah, because she expects you as the decisive decision maker, as the man, to make that decision for her. And that, la that, 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 that what might be perceived as a very small decision echoes a larger principle that you make the right choices and you can lead her in the right direction through any means. When she asks you a question, find a reason to answer. Find an answer for her. Because she's looking to you as the teacher in a regressive state, in a submissive state. So, you choose where you go on this date. You choose what time it is, and you hammer it in. And then when she responds, it's up to you to sort of re-correlate and calibrate and, you know, work it out from there on. In a perfect world, she'll say, yes, that's fine, and then you'll end up going on that date. But when it comes to her being umming and ahhing or needing to do different things and that, that's, that's a different video. We're not going to go into that. But like I said, reoccurringly on these profiles, very often, and you can choose a hundred different questions to have in that profile, but this is one that comes up ever so regular. A perfect date for me is you choosing, the, you know, the time, the date, the this, that, and the that. And it might be worded different. It might be the same thing, worded different. So they might choose the question. Um, a great way to ask me out is, Give me a time, a place, and this and that. Here's your instruction. Here's your task. Abide by it. That's how it works, right? That's how it works. And then you do that, and I'll give you a fantastic time. That's classical conditioning, right? You associate me and take an order from me with great benefit to you. Joy, life, experience, love, romance, masculinity to match your femininity. And what a great way to start that is. 
by you taking an order from me, me putting myself on the first and the foremost, because you might think, oh, well, what, oh, what do you mean all these women need to be submissive and submit to you all the time? No, not necessarily. But that's like saying, why do I always have to put myself on the forefront and put myself in harm's way and potentially get shot down with my statements and me making decisions and potentially choosing the wrong decision and the wrong option and this, that and that. I have the weight on my shoulders by doing so. The woman isn't in a detrimental position by me choosing where we're going and where we're going to go and what we're going to eat and at what time, uh, what where we're going to the cinemas and what films we're seeing and all of that crap. That's up to me. And truth be told, she's putting that out there to test the waters as well and see who you are and what you're doing. Oh, let's go for a walk in the park. She's going to think, can't you afford to go get drinks? What do you mean? What do you mean? Are you, you, you're not sexually attracted to me to the point where you want to go, you know, get a little bit buzzed up and go enjoy some nightlife and stare at each other under candlelight at the weekend late on in a cushy little bar? You want to see me in the daylight and walk around the pack? How old are you? Oh, you've just invited me to go play video games. That might work for some people. Don't work for me. How old are you? You're 12. She's testing you. Already, without even knowing you as a person, she's put the bait out to shit test whoever walks in through that door and you've got to pass that as a man. You need to understand who, is, who she is, what she wants, how you correlate with her through your identity and characteristics. Find that middle ground so you can become one as two and then you win. And on that note, I'm signing out. Click like, click subscribe. I got game every single day of my life. Two description, two 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 links down in the description. I'm stuttering and buttering. I'm tired, people. Come on. One links to the dictionary of body language where you will learn how to read people through their nonverbal behaviour, from the top to the bottom. Second to that is the Patreon. I'm signing out. Peace.